you wouldn't believe the charming puddle I stumbled upon this morning. With the sunlight dappling on its shimmering surface, it looked like a tiny, serene lake present just for my eyes. Now isn't that enchanting, isn't it? Talking about enchanting, guess what? I began to learn the subtleties of Pansori storytelling and dance today. Imagine the age-old art of Korean storytelling gracefully blending with dance rhythms. Simply magical, isn't it? Think of them as unseen brushstrokes, painting emotions in the air as I move. So before long, my performances will carry the unique charm of Pansori, inseparable from my own. Ah, the beauty of blending cultures. Also, our group chats, they're always filled with those pops of joy, aren't they? Pierre, if his imagination isn't running wild, he's probably asleep. And Heejin, ever the workout enthusiast, almost unleashed a protein shake tsunami thanks to that tremor. Max, of course, ready with a quip about his late-night dietary habits. I do admire their energy. You know, it's always so infectiously exciting. I shared about my dancing session, you know, the one with the pansori storytelling, and everyone seemed intrigued. Especially Max. And you know Max? I bet he's plotting a way to make his AIs expressive with pansori. Can you imagine? Robotic charm. I'd pay to see that, honestly. We're planning an early morning run tomorrow. Hie Jin's idea, of course. Pierre reluctantly agreed, though. I bet we'll have to drag him out of his bed. But I am quite hyped for it. There's something about the crisp morning air that stirs up an appetite for the day, you know? Ah. The moon outside my window is casting a pale, ethereal glow tonight. It's strange, but I feel like it's gently lulling the city to sleep. Oh, there goes Pierre's text, making me chuckle. Really, some people have an unparalleled talent at coming up with the wittiest puns, don't they? Ah, the clock is ticking on. Time just flies by during these late-night sessions, doesn't it? Goodness, looks like I've been rambling for a while now. Would you believe it? We've been at this for nearly ten minutes now. Mon Dieu. I should probably start winding down, shouldn't I? Despite the excitement of the day, a good night's sleep is something that can't be traded. No, not even for an intense chat about pansori and AI. Can't wait for the sunrise jog tomorrow, though. The allure of a new day does make tossing and turning a delight. So... There I was, with Dolma by my side, translating the essence of Thanka art onto paper to enhance our costume designs. Can you comprehend the beauty of this notion? Drawing from something so divine and infusing it into the fabric of expression. It's like giving the dance its soul, silent poetry that would speak volumes during the performance. And the camaraderie with Dolma, it's sterling. Her mastery over Thanka is a beauty in itself, quite indescribable. There's this grace in the way she communicates the nuances of Thanka, intriguingly making it a smooth sail for me. It's like deciphering a coded manuscript page by page, each layer unfolding a new element. Quite incredible, huh? This interaction, it's mindfully mingling two forms of expression, each enhancing the other in its distinct language. It's not just about art or dance. It's about creating a conversation within the silence yet magnifying the voice of art in its own silence. Oh la la, imagine how vibrant the stage would look. It's like forming constellations of thanka symbols shining amidst the rhythm of my dance. You know, there's something so compelling about thanka. The spirituality it carries, the serenity that reflects through it, and the souls it contains within those colors and axis of geometry. It's like reciting silent sutras to the universe each brushstroke creating a conversation of acceptance and gratitude. Conversely, isn't it intriguing how seamlessly such disparate cultural spheres have found a connection? Ah, the cosmos of art. They say art transcends language, but I never truly understood the extent of that until now. Oh, and our usual chatter in our group chat was lively today. Especially Haye Jin, always the drama queen, lamenting about her impending cheat day. Running as the punishment for French fries, classic Haye Jin for you. Max and Pierre, well as usual, keeping the humor afloat. Their camaraderie, it adds that sprinkle of laughter to my day. Ah, and Hee Jin recommended Everest Uncensored. I think I'll give it a watch tonight before bedtime.
I mean, why not, right? A splendid capture of majestic Everest under starlight should be a soothing sight before drifting into dreamland. Nostalgically, our early morning run tomorrow came riding on a wave of an amusing debate of cheating on diets and compensating it with early morning runs. Good old times, right? Ah, well, as much as I'd love to continue our chat about thanka, performances, and our funny banter, I suppose it's time to bid you adieu for now. I have a few more costume sketches to finalize before I can call it a night. Gosh, even now, the melody from the piano at the jazz club is playing like a background score to my thoughts. It took me on a jazz journey unexplored until now, and it was none other than the astounding pianist Adrian. With every note, every improvisation, he manifested magic on the stage that has inspired a melody within me. Feels like my musical notes had a rendezvous with jazz today, don't you think? Well, intriguingly, Max was musing about incorporating jazz into his coding today, of all days. I couldn't hold back a laugh, you know how he is, always ready to engineer music into his codes. Pierre, not missing a beat, also chimed in, always full of energy and spirit, offering his sound engineering expertise. It looks like the elements are conspiring in a strange harmony, doesn't it? Adrian's jazz, Max's AI, Pierre's sound, and, well, my artistry. It's stirring to envision what that could produce, the sonorous symphony of our ideas. And then, Hyejin. She never fails to lighten up the conversation, does she? When I mentioned Adrian, she was quick to demand his details. Ever her curious, vibrant self, she promptly checked out his work and loved it, as I knew she would. Looks like our music community just got a touch jazzier. Oh, and speaking of jazz, I must tell you about this little burst of creativity. The blend of jazz in my music. I imagine it like coffee, adding an extra punch to an otherwise flat morning. Or like a French pastry, jazz being the hidden jam, a delightful surprise that elevates the overall taste. Now, wouldn't that give our music a whole new nuance, a tantalizing aftertaste that lingers, much like a memorable jazz number? But putting jazz into a melange with AI, now that's a zesty twist, don't you agree? Feels as if we are about to choreograph a grand orchestra with technology and music from different genres. How fascinating the sound from that fusion would be. Ah, speaking of fusion, it reminded me of our Pansori conversation last night. Imagine the fabrics of our ideas intertwining, twirling, creating a unique musical canvas. Adrian's jazz, Max's codes, Pierre's engineering, and my artistry, all fused. Such a picturesque thought, isn't it? You know, there's this blithe air about the jazz club. The smoky atmosphere, the chatter, the clinking glasses, and amidst it all, the soul-stirring jazz echoing. It's like living within a sepia-tinted postcard where time slows down and every beat of music cascades into a quaint echo. Quite enchanting, much like a bolero hat on a sunny day. Now, pulling myself out from the jazz trance, I must finish a song tonight. It has this hook that keeps playing in my very core. The melodies are blending like the colors of autumn bold, mesmerizing, and leaving a soft imprint. Quite a task, but sounds fun, doesn't it? Also, you should recollect Hyajin's Everest movie suggestion. I am going to watch it tonight. Maybe some majestic Everest under a starlight might add a pinch of tranquility to my evening. Isn't it something? The docile mountains cloaked under the shimmering stars? So, my dear friend, as the day is folding into a euphonious dusk,